Because some of the walls have already collapsed onto the sidewalk and what's left of this building is obviously not safe, crews are planning to tear down the rest of the building. In the meantime, investigators are still trying to figure out exactly who's responsible for setting the blaze. With massive flames rising into the night sky, a family that lives next door to this former church quickly evacuated their home. We woke up to people banging on our door to let us know that the church was on fire. So as soon as we came out, we got the kids out, we just feel the intense heat when we walked out. It's, it's just that bad. By the time Carl's family stepped outside, it was obvious the abandoned sanctuary at the corner of East New York Street and Elder Avenue was a total loss. This year was, yeah, we can feel the heat really bad on our side already. Pretty much the whole building already was on fire by the time it came out. To see this happen just breaks your heart. Julie, who runs a food pantry across the street, claims the church has been vacant for more than a decade, but no one considered it to be a nuisance before the fire. Even though it was empty, it wasn't bothering anybody in the neighborhood. In fact, Julie believes the church property had recently changed owners and she had been looking forward to the building one day being reused. Our understanding is that it recently sold on a tax sale. Um, so our hope was that they would, you know, do something on that lot or with the church to just beautify and build up the neighborhood rather than tear it down. While fire crews have ruled the fire was intentionally set, it's not clear how the blaze started and no suspect information has been released. While no one got hurt, the fire did damage the side of Carl's home and he has a message for the mystery arsonist. This is dumb. Think about the people around you, you know. It's kind of crazy to be honest because if it wasn't the church, we look at the houses, if we would have got one of the houses, how close they are together, it could have been a lot worse. Finally, investigators are asking everyone in the neighborhood that may have doorbell cameras or home surveillance systems to give them a call in the hopes that a suspect or suspects can be identified. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.